Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. For today's box opening, we've got an Innistrad Midnight Hunt Draft Booster Box. Now on Wednesday, we opened up a Dominaria United Set Booster Box that had a little tear. This one has a big tear. However, Wednesday's box was pretty darn good. So I'm hoping that this bigger tear will actually mean more value. So let's uh, slice into this thing, lay out our 36 packs, sit back, relax, and get ready to enjoy the journey because this is going to take a little while. Uh, and then at the end, we'll do the full MTG box analysis. All right, here we go. So this set is best known for the Midnight, or uh, excuse me, for the Meat Hook Massacre. Um, however, there are a number of other cards uh, that do hold value, so we'll be keeping an eye out for that. Unfortunately, there are no commons, but there are four uncommons, and I'll call them out as we go. So this one starts with a No Way Out, Bramble Armor, a Pax Betrayal, then we're going to see a Shipwreck Sifters with a Duress, a Timberland Guide, a Sun Gold Barrage, Burn the Accursed with a Cathar Commando, then we're going to see a Lunark Veteran, an Ominous Roost with Borrowed Time, a Mystic uh, Skull, and then we're going to see a Curse of Surveillance coming in as our rare with a Full Art Island, and then we're going to see a Zombie Token and a Blank Card in the back. We're going to see lots of those blank cards because this set features a ton of double-sided cards. Um, so currently there are 53 cards in the set valued over a dollar. Um, and four of them are the uncommons. So we've got the Silver Bolt, Falcon Abomination, Vampire Interloper, Might of the Old Ways with a Hedgewick's Mask, Electric Revelation, Gavany Silversmith, The Festival Crasher, Shadow Beast Sighting, an Ecstatic Awakener. Then we're going to see a Ghoulish Procession coming in, followed by a Sunrise Cavalier. And then we get an Upside Down Showcase card, which is a Fangblade Brigand. And then we're going to see Sigarda, Champion of Light, Mythic uh, Showcase coming in. Very cool to see that. And then we're going to see a Full Art Swamp with a Beast and another Blank card in the back. Can't recall if the Blank cards are in every single pack. So we may end up with 36 of those. I guess we'll find out. It's been a little while since I opened up a draft box of this. So we got ourselves a Devious Cover-Up, a Blade Brand, followed by a Tapping at the Window, Soul Guide Griff with a Flip the Switch, a Siege Zombie, Search Party Captain, Lamholt Harrier, Locked in the Cemetery, a Gale Drifter, Ritual of Hope. Then we're going to see a Baldarian Ambusher, followed by a Blade Stitch Scav, and we're going to see an Enduring Angel coming in as a Mythic. That does hold some value. And behind that, we're going to see ourselves a Mountain. Ah, there we go. There's our blank card, and we get a non-token token. All right, so I'm just going to take a half a half a second here, and I'm going to split up our Mythics and Rares, because so far we're at two Mythics, one Rare, which is, by itself, pretty darn rare. All right, so this one starts off with a Snarling Wolf. Jacko Lantern, and then we're going to see ourselves a Consider. This used to be valued over a dollar, but it has dropped some. Then we're going to see a, a Morkatut uh, Behemoth, Path to the Festival, Gavany Trapper, Baldarian Stinger, a Hobbling Zombie, Bird Admirer, a Ferment Sage with a Rise of Ants. <laughs> and we got another Upside Down here, and this is going to be the Overwhelmed Archivist. Followed by Serenith, the Viper's Fang, coming in from the Showcase series. Does hold some value, just over $2. Then we get ourselves the Full Art Forest. And a Deserted Beach coming in from the Land Cycle in foil. Uh, so the Deserted Beach in non-foil is valued just over $7. So this should be a pretty good hit for us. And then we get, get a Day and Night token with another blank card in the back. And I'm just going to take a half a second, slide everything over. I want everyone to see it, even if they skipped ahead. You know, some people just can't can't listen to every single card in the box, but hopefully, uh, hopefully people enjoy that, uh, as opposed to some of the other YouTubers who just kind of will open up a box in about four minutes. Uh, I try and make this kind of a journey for us. So we got a flare of faith, a falcon wrath performer, secret secrets of the key, a bat whisperer, a plummet, a candle trap, an ardent elementalist, Donhart rejuvenator, harvestide infiltrator. 
with a Field of Ruin, a Wither, Witherthorn Blessing. And we got another upside down card. All right, so this box is just kind of packed wrong. Uh, and it is a Hound Tamer with a Champion of the Parish coming in. This rare does hold some value. And then we're going to see ourselves a Full Art Plains with a Homestead Courage. And then we're going to see an Elemental with another blank card. So at this point, I'm going to guess that every single pack is going to have that blank card, which of course is traditionally used to uh, write write down what double-sided card you're going to be using. But obviously, if you're playing with friends, you can write whatever you want on there. So you can uh, certainly proxy a Black Lotus that way. So we've got an Unblinking Observer, a Diagraph Horde, Candlelit Cavalry, a Blessed Defiance. Then we're going to see the Candle Grove Witch and Showcase with a Brimstone Vandal, an Organ Hoarder, a Homestead Courage, a Morning Patrol. Then we're going to see Foul Play, followed by a Cathartic Pyre, an Heirloom Mirror, and then we're going to see Catilda Dawnheart Prime coming in with a Forest, a Human, and yet again another blank card. Fantastic. So we're seeing a little bit of value here. Um, so the Meat Hook Massacre in regular frame is currently valued at around $40 market. Um, and I think that's the only version that we can see in this particular box. So we'll just keep an eye out for that. Uh, we've got a Falcon Wrath Performer, Secrets of the Key, the Bat Whisperer, Snarling Wolf, Flare of Faith, Crossroads uh, Candle Guide, Unruly Mob, with the Brimstone Vandal, the Organ Hoarder, and we're going to see the Tavern Ruffian, the Blood Tide Collector, the Diagraph Rebirth, and an upside down Kessick Naturalist with a Giza Glorious Resurrector coming in as our rare with some value there. And then we're going to see the Full Art Swamp, followed by the Wolf, and yes, another blank. So, what do you all think of this set? Is, um, is Midnight Hunt totally. Totally out. I know uh, Crimson Bow and Midnight Hunt are probably some of the least desired sets over the last 24 months. Um, just curious. I know a lot of people are fans of uh, vampires and werewolves. So, so we've got an otherworldly gaze with a novice occultist, Harvestide Sentry, uh, Neonate's Rush, Unblinking Observer, The Blood Pact, Homestead Courage, with an Immolation, a Defense Strait, Morning Patrol. And then we're going to see a Cathar's Call, followed by Seize the Storm. And then we're going to see an Outland Liberator, followed by a Patrician Geist coming in as our rare. Then we get ourselves an Island and an Insect Token in the back. None of the tokens in this set, at least in um, single-sided, non-foil, basically the ones we're getting, are currently valued over a dollar, just so you're aware. Um, I believe some of the double-sided from Crimson Vow and as well as Midnight Hunt are valued over a dollar, though. So we got the Bounding Wolf with the Blessed Defiance, Drown Yard Amalgam, a Rotted Reunion, a Pestilent Wolf, and Evolving Wilds with a Candle Trap. Then we got the Moon Rager Slash, followed by the Mounted Dread Knight, the Shady Traveler. Then we're going to see a Vivisection as our first uncommon with a Sacred Fire, and a Defend the Celestis coming in as our last uncommon. And we're going to see Ludwig Necrogenius coming in as our rare with a Forest and a Day-Night token. So some other cards that we're looking out for. Uh, so we're looking for Adeline Resplendent Cathar. Um, definitely keeping our eyes out for Haunted Ridges, um, either in borderless or in regular frame. Regular frame is actually preferred. That's valued at $11, whereas the borderless is only valued at $10. So we've got a Larder Zombie, Diagraph Horde, Path to the Festival, Thrabian Exorcism, a Geist Wave, with an Arrogant Outlaw, Candle Grove, yeah, Candle Grove Witch, Creepy Card, Eccentric Farmer, Bait Hook Angler, and then we're going to see the Moon Silver Key coming in. Decent uncommon, not valued over a dollar though. Then we see the Flesh Taker, followed by the Covert Cut Purse. And then we see a Hallowed Resprite as our rare, with a Mountain and a Zombie in the back. 
So um, I don't believe any of the full art lands are currently valued over a dollar, although for a while they definitely were. Um, then some other sets came out with full art lands that uh, kind of trumped the desire for these. But I'll put up an overlay so that we can see what they're currently valued at. So we've got ourselves a return to nature with an abandoned post, a startle, Olivia's midnight ambush, howl of the hunt, Celestis sanctifier, ritual guardian, a famished forders, Revenge of the Drowned, The Tireless Holler, then we're going to see the Storm, Stormkirk Blood Thief, followed by a Lunar Frenzy, a Vengeful Strangler, and we're going to see Rem Carlos Stalwart Slayer coming in as our rare with a Plains and a Vampire. All right, so moving into pack 12 here. This one starts off with the Component Collector, Crawl from the Cellar, Duel for Dominance, Stuffed Bear, Stormrider Spirit, Clarion Cathars, Raise the Effigy, then we're going to see Eaten Alive, a Tavern Ruffian in Showcase with an Odrix Outrider, Grizzly Ghoul, and then we're going to see a Beloved Beggar, followed by an Unnatural Growth coming out of green. This card's currently valued over $5. Fantastic. Put that up top. Why not? It's one of our big hits. Then we got ourselves a Swamp, followed by a Foil, Abandon the Post. That's only our third Foil. And then we get a non-token token and a blank card in the back. So I haven't seen any yet, but the four uncommons that we're looking for is a Fading Hope, an Infernal Grasp, a Morbid Opportunist, or a Play with Fire. I don't believe we've seen any of those yet. Or if we have, I forgot to call them out. All right, so this one kicks off with a Blade Brand. Then we got a Tapping at the Window, Electric Revelation, Storm Rider Spirit, a Duress, followed by Might of the Old Ways, Burn the Accursed, Dawn Heart Rejuvenator and Showcase with a Candle Grove Witch, the Gale Drifter, and there we go. <laughs> Speak it and it shall be. We get ourselves a Fading Hope. This is one of the uncommons, currently valued over a dollar. Then we see a Corpse Cobble, with a Kessig Naturalist, and our rare is going to be a Slaughter Specialist coming out of black. With a Swamp and an Elemental Token in the back. Not really sure where to put the Fading Hope. Eh, I'll just put it up here with Unnatural uh, Growth. Certainly not the most valuable card, but it is uh, kind of nice to be able to see some value in the Uncommon slot. So this one kicks off with a Crossroads Candle Guide, followed by Flip the Switch, uh, Morkrut Behemoth, Candle uh, Candlelit Cavalry, Soul Guide Grillif, another Consider, with a Lambholt Harrier, Hobbling Zombie, Gavany Trapper, Bird Admirer, and we're going to see ourselves uh, another one, the Infernal Grasp. Fantastic. Then we get a Join the Dance, Bereaved Survivor, and we're going to see a Siphon Insight coming in as our rare with an island and an insect token in the back. So yeah, I just had, to, just had to say what the uncommons were so that way they could just come out of the packs. Now I really want to see a Meat Hook Massacre. All right, so we've got a Sea Zombie, a Plummet, followed by a Falcon Wrath Performer, Secrets of the Key, Bat Whisperer, a Snarling Wolf, Voldarian Stinger, Shadow Beast Sighting, Search Party Captain, Harvicide Infiltrator with a Hungry for More, Dawn Heart Mentor, then we're going to see a Burly Breaker, and behind that we're going to see a Grafted Identity. Not the Mediocre Masker, with a Forest and a Vampire. Now how amazing would that have been if I could have just called it and it happened? Who knows, right? It could happen. So we got ourselves a Flare of Faith, Candle Rose, Candle Rose, uh, excuse me, Crossroads Candle Guide. Then we got the Otherworldly Gaze with the Novice Occultist, the Harvestide Sentry, the Brimstone Vandal, the Organ Hoarder, the Unruly Mob, the Morning Patrol, the Blood Tithe Collector, the Root Coil Creeper with the Mystic Skull. And then we're going to see a Ghoul Caller's Harvest coming in as our rare with an island. And we're going to see a foil, Might of the Old Ways Common, with a zombie in the back. 
So let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we're really looking for. So Renin 7 is in this set, but Renin 7 is only valued um, right around $8. But, I mean, certainly we'll take it. And we got ourselves a Neonates Rush to kick this one off with an Unblinking Observer, followed by a Blood Pact, a Bounding Wolf, Blessed Defiance, an Ardent Elementalist, Mounted Dread Knight, Candle Trap, Moon Rager Slash, Shady Traveler, the Loyal Griff, followed by Play With Fire. This is going to be another uncommon, valued over a dollar. And then we get a Faithful Mending, and we're going to see a Reckless Stormseeker coming in um, as a rare showcase. This card is currently valued over three dollars. Then we get ourselves the Swamp and the Day Night. The Drown Yard Amalgam starts this one off with a Rotted Reunion, the Pestilent Wolf, the Evolving Wilds, Larder Zombie, the Diagraph Horde, Defense Strait, Homestead Courage, Creepy, Bait Hook Angler, Scab Wrangler, Clear Shot, and the Bane Blade Scoundrel. With a Vanquish the Horde coming in as our rare. Another card, decent value, just over $4. Then we're going to see ourselves a Plains and a Human in the back. All right, we've got Jack O' Lantern, followed by the Larder Zombie again, the Novice Occultist, Harvestide Sentry, Neonate's Rush, Creepy, Defense Strait, Unruly Mob, the Shady Traveler, Sunset Revelry, followed by the Obsessive Astronomer, Rite of Oblivion, and our rare is going to be a Curse of Leeches, followed by the Swamp, and the Gavany Dawn Guard Uncommon in foil, with a day and day night and a blank. This one starts off with a Startle, Rotted Reunion, Bounding Wolf, Thrabian Exorcism, with the Drown Yard Amalgam, the Blood Pact, the Immolation, the Ex uh, Eccentric Farmer, Ritual Guardian, Bait Hook Angler, Nettlecast Intruder, the Contortionist Trope, with the Beloved Beggar, and our rare is going to be a Galvanic Iteration. Uh, another rare, valued over a dollar. Then we get ourselves a Mountain, non-token token, and the blank card. So we started off strong with two Mythics, and it has since gone really quiet. So hopefully, you know, these boxes are typically good for four to six Mythics. Hopefully there's a lot more on the way. So we got the Pestilent Wolf, the Silver Bolt, the Otherworldly Gaze, followed by Olivia's Midnight Ambush, Howl of the Hunt, Abandon the Post, Moon Rager's Slash, Mounted Dread Knight, Gavany Silversmith, The Tireless Hauler, Arcane Infusion with a Storm Skrillex, and then we're going to see a Covetous Castaway, followed by Burn Down the House, coming in from Red, with a Plains and a Zombie Token. All right, I'm going to take just a half a second and move some of the commons over um, so I don't just make a complete mess and damage the cards. All right, so we got ourselves a Geist Wave with an Arrogant Outlaw, Return to Nature, Celestis Sanctifier, then the Component Collector, Crawl from the Cellar, Famous Forgers, Revenge of the Drowned, Clarion Cathars, got ourselves a Tavern Ruffian, a Dissipate, Purifying Dragon, and then we're going to see an upside down Bane Blade Scoundrel with a Sun Gold Sentinel right behind it. With the Forest and a Spirit Token. Alright, so this one kicks off with a Timberland Guide, Hedgewick's Mask, Devious Cover Up, the Vampire Interloper, Duel for Dominance, Pax Betrayal, Raise the Effigy, Eaten Alive. Sun Gold Barrage, Lunark Veteran with a Dreadhound, Vampire Socialite, 
And then we're going to see an upside down spell rune painter. And of course, you can see it right there. There is the Meat Hook Massacre, the one we were all looking for. Currently valued just over $40. Amazing to see that inside of a draft box. Please like the video. Subscribe to the channel so you can see more hits like this. Amazing. All right, then we get an island, an ooze, and another blank card. That made my day. So glad that uh, we were able to pull that out of the draft box. Now let's do it again in foil. All right, I'm going to have to hide Chandra there. All right, so we get a Shipwreck Sifters, No Way Out, a Bramble Armor, Stuffed Bear, Falcon Abomination, the Festival Crasher, Locked in the Cemetery, Cathar Commando, Ecstatic Awakener, Gavany Downguard, Broodweaver, followed by a Vengeful Strangler, and then we're going to see a Briar Bridge Tracker coming in as our rare, with a Mountain, a Falcon Wrath Performer in foil, and then we're going to see the Bird Token. All right, so that gets us through 24 packs. Now we've got 12 more to go. So now we want to see either either another uh, Meat Hook Massacre or I really want to see the Haunted Ridge. Um, I enjoy collecting lands, so... All right, we've got ourselves another Wolf, Jack-O-Lantern, another Consider. That's three of those. The Mortuck Behemoth, Path to the Festival, Dawnheart Rejuvenator, Gavany Silversmith, Baldarian Stinger, Tavern Ruffian, with the Ominous Roost, followed by Defend the Celestis, an Outland Liberator coming in as a showcase card. And then we're going to see Florian uh, Voldarian Scion coming in from the showcase series as a rare with an island and a bait hook angler in foil and a spirit token in the back. So I think we're only at six foils, which is a little bit light. Usually I think these are good for nine to ten. Um, so again, just like... Uh, Mythics, right? Hopefully there's more to come. So we've got a Flare of Faith. We've got the Performer, Secrets of the Key, the Bat Whisperer, the Plummet, Evolving Wilds, the Hobbling Zombie, Unruly Mob, Brimstone Vandal, followed by the Morning Patrol, Ghoulish Procession, a Flesh Taker, and then we're going to see a Devoted Graph Keeper uh, as our last uncommon, with a Curse of Shaken Faith coming in as our rare, then we're going to see a Plains and another non-token token. Oh, messed up my piles there. All right. Unblinking Observer with the Diagraph Horde. The Candlelit Cavalry, Blessed Defiance. Jack-O-Lantern, Larder Zombie, Organ Hoarder, Homestead Courage. Immolation, Shady Traveler, Odric's Outrider, the Lunar Frenzy, the Blade Stitch Scab, with a Brutal Cathar coming in as our rare. Another decent one, just over $3 in value. With a Swamp and a Spirit Token in the back. It's always nice to see some value out of a pack. Um, you never want to see, you know, a $0.05 cent rare uh, on like a $3 pack. So we got ourselves a Novice Occultist, uh, Harvestside Sentry, The Rush, Startle, Rotted Reunion, Defense Straight, Candle Trap, Moon Rager Slash, Bait Hook Angler, The Phantom Carriage, followed by Borrowed Time. And then we're going to see an Heirloom Mirror with a Can't Stay Away coming in as our rare with a Mountain. And we're going to see an uncommon mysterious tome coming in as our foil with a human and another blank card. All right, we've got uh, the Bounding Wolf, followed by the Thrabian Exorcism, the Drown Yard Amalgam, the Blood Pact, Pestilent Wolf, Mounted Dread Knight, Candle Grove Witch, Creepy Number Four. Eccentric Farmer, Tireless Hauler, Moon Silver Key, Unnatural Moonrise, 
with Mysterious Tome, this time in non-foil. And our rare is going to be a Willow Geist coming out of green. Very nice. With an island and an elemental token in the back. So we got ourselves a silver bolt here with an otherworldly gaze, Howl of the Hunt, Olivia's Midnight Ambush, Abandon the Post, Geist Wave, Ritual Guardian, Famish Forgers, Revenge of the Drowned, Tavern Ruffian, Stormkirk Blood Thief with a Seize the Storm. And then we're going to see a Fangblade Brigand with uh, Liza Forgotten Archangel coming in as our rare. Then we get ourselves a Plains with a Day-Night token. I think we're down to about seven packs or so. And then uh, we'll step right into the MTG box analysis. If you're not familiar with that, it is a five to seven minute recap of everything we saw in the box with some statistics and analytics to go along with it. So we got ourselves a Path to the Festival, Thrabian Exorcism, Geist Wave, Arrogant Outlaw, Return to Nature, Eccentric Farmer, Clarion Cathars, Raise the Effigy, Tireless Holler, Necrosynthesis, with a Diagraph Rebirth, Mysterious Tome, and I already saw it, another Deserted Beat, this time in non-foil, so another $7 hit for us. Fantastic. I'll put that down with our foil one. Then we'll get ourselves a Forest and a Revenge of the Drowned, with a Clue and a Blank. All right, so now we're uh, now I think we're doing okay, right? Because we've got we've got two seven dollar lands, we've got an unnatural growth valued over five dollars, we've got the Need Hook Massacre at forty, um, plus you know countless you know five to ninety nine cent cards and a lot of rares, so we should do okay on this box at the end. So we got an abandon the post, a startle, Olivia's midnight ambush, Howl of the hunt, Celesta sanctifier. The Component Collector with the Revenge of the Drowned, a Ritual Guardian, Burn the Accursed, Harvicide Infiltrator, Dual Craft Trainer, Thermo Alchemist with a Chaplet of Alms, and a Bloodline Culling coming in as our rare, followed by a Mountain, and then a Zombie in the back. All right, so we got ourselves a Crawl from the Cellar with a Duel for Dominance, Stuffed Bear, Storm Rider Spirit, No Way Out, Bramble Armor, Immolation, Sun Gold Barrage, Famished Forgers, The Lunark Veteran, Vivisection, and then we're going to see the Dawnheart Wardens from Showcase, followed by a Village Watch, and then we're going to see another Mythic here, the Consuming Blob, Unfortunately, this mythic is not high value. Then we see ourselves an island with a spider in the back. Move over one more common. We're down to three packs. So we've got three chances to get that foil meat hook massacre. So you're saying there's a chance. All right, we got the Pax Betrayal, the Shipwreck Sifters, the Duress, the Timberland Guide, Silver Bolt, Eaten Alive, Cathar Commander. Festival Crasher, Ecstatic Awakener, Turn the Earth, Dryad's Re Revival, Death Bonnet Sprout, and then we're going to see the Celestis coming in as our rare, currently valued just over a dollar, with a Plains and a Foil uh, Broodweaver coming in, just an uncommon, with a Bird Token in the back. Got that uh, Falcon Abomination with the Vampire Interloper, Might of the Old Ways, Hedgewick's Mask, Electric Revelation, Devious Cover Up, Shadow Beast Sighting, Search Party Captain, the Lamb Holt Harrier with the Gale Drifter. And there we go, the Morbid Opportunist. That was the last one that we were looking for from an uncommon value perspective. We'll just slide those up there. And then we got a Grizzly Ghoul, a Cathartic Pyre. And Tolivar, Dire Overlord, coming in as our rare, with a Forest and a Tree Folk. 
All right, so we've now hit all four of the uncommons valued over a dollar. So that's, uh, that's an accomplishment. So let's see what this last pack has in store for us. All right, we got a Blade Brand. Soul Guide Griff. Tapping at the Window. Flip the Switch. Siege Zombie. Locked in the Cemetery. Gavity Trapper. Followed by an Ardent Elementalist. A Bird Admirer. Cathar's Call. Sunrise Cavalier. We're going to see an Ambitious Farmhand. And our last card is going to be a Rare. And it is Rite of Harmony. Followed by a Mountain. A Foil Island. So that's our first Foil Land. Then we get ourselves a Zombie and a Blank card in the back. All right, so give me just a moment. I'll get everything sorted, organized, and be right back with the MTG Box Analysis. In today's MTG Box Analysis, we'll begin by comparing the cards that we saw in this box to the cards that were possible to obtain in a draft booster pack. Then we'll examine the set coverage, coverage by rarity, and duplication. To establish a baseline for value, we'll first analyze the value of the set and then break down the actual observed value of today's box. Finally, we'll conclude with a summary. If you want to go deeper into the analysis and see all of the metrics for this box and at least 100 others, simply join the channel at the Give Me the Data level. Let's start things off with a comparison of the cards we were eligible to see versus the actual cards we saw in this box. Using this chart, we can see the foils that we observed in orange, the non-foils in green, and the set in gray as the baseline. In the non-foil space, we saw a very consistent distribution among the primary colors of Magic, with a variance of only 8 cards between green's 80 and black's 88. We also saw 15 of the showcase cards in non-foil. In the foil space, we saw between 2 and 3 cards for each of the primary colors of Magic, except in black, where we didn't see any. We also saw one foil full art basic land and one foil non-basic land. Unfortunately, we didn't see any of the eight borderless cards in either foil or non-foil. Moving into coverage, in the non-foil space, we saw 236 unique cards out of a possible 325 that we were eligible to see. This gave us 73% coverage of the set. Our highest coverage among the primary colors of Magic was in black, seeing 86% of the cards. In the foil space, we saw 11 out of the 325 cards, with no duplication, giving us 3% coverage of the set. This time, our highest coverage among the primary colors of Magic was in blue, with 7%. Pivoting the coverage by rarity, in the non-foil space, we saw 99% of the commons that we were eligible to see, along with 90% of the uncommons. We also saw 32 rares for 36% coverage, and 4 mythics for 15% coverage. In the foil space, we saw 6% of the commons, 3% of the uncommons, plus 1 foil rare for 1% coverage. In total, we saw 33 rares and 4 mythics in these 36 packs. Being a draft booster box, duplication was expected going in. In this box, we saw 134 non-foil cards repeated 293 times for a box duplication rate of 54%. We also saw 44 play sets of common cards, but other than the basic lands and tokens, we didn't see more than 5 of any card. Before we take a look at the value inside of today's draft booster box, let's take a look at the cards that we were eligible to see from the set using this chart, which shows the non-foil market prices as of April 5th, 2023. Currently, there are five non-foils valued over $10. There's the Borderless Haunted Ridge, valued at $10.47. The Arlen, the Pax Hope, valued at $10.75. The Standard Frame, Haunted Ridge, valued at $11.47. Adeline, Resplendent Cathar, valued at $13.08. And the Meat Hook Massacre, which is valued at $40.67. In draft boxes, you can also find nine cards valued between $5 and $10, and 39 cards valued between $1 and $5. The remaining 272 cards are currently valued less than $1. If you were to add up the market value of all 325 cards that you can pull from a draft booster pack, you'd be looking at a grand total market value of $293.75. Now let's take a look at the actual observed value inside of this box starting off in the non-foil space. Based on our previous analysis, there are five cards in the set valued over $10, and we managed to find the most valuable among them, the Meat Hook Massacre, which is valued at $40.67. We also saw two non-foils in the $5 to $10 range, and 14 non-foils priced between $1 and $5. The remaining 512 non-foils in the box, though, were valued less than $1. Unfortunately, none of the foils in this box were valued over $10, but we did see a foil deserted beach, which is currently valued at $7.44. The other 10 foils in the box were all valued less than a buck. So how did this box perform? 
Well, I purchased this box through a Patreon agreement for $88 even. The current market price for these boxes as of April 5th, 2023 is $82.28. Today's Draft Booster Box contained 36 packs with 15 cards each, allowing us to see a total of 540 cards. The 68 tokens, including the blank cards, have a current market value of $9.01. The 36 non-foil and one-foil full art basic lands have a total market value of $8.73. The 355 commons are currently valued at $14.44, and the 111 uncommons are currently valued at $16.68. The 33 rares that we saw are valued at $50.49, and finally, the 4 Mythics are valued at $42.76, thanks almost entirely to the Meat Hook Massacre. Add it all up, and the grand total for this box comes up to be $142.11 in market value, which is a gain of $54.11 over the price I paid. This means that the box returned 161% of my purchase price in card value. Now, for those of you interested in cards valued just over $2, the numbers look like this. In total, we saw nine cards valued over two bucks in this box, and they have our current combined value of $79.17, which means that those nine cards represent 56% of the total box value. Thank you so much for watching. I want to take a moment to give a special shout out to all of the channel members. Your support helps fund this operation and allows me to create the content that you all enjoy. If you're not yet a channel member, I invite you to consider becoming one. By joining, you'll gain early access to videos and many other perks. If you're interested in supporting the channel but don't want to become a member, there are several other ways that you can show your support. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue with the channel. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, do something amazing.